Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm in the backyard. So today I just want to give you the quick update how uh, my uh, fat amber blue sports doing. So if you follow my channel for a while or right at the beginning when I started this channel, I got two beautiful fat amber blue sports that uh, when I started the uh, YouTube channel, this was the first video that uh, me and my husband we uh, we made. Uh, and I had, on that video, my husband helped me to film it, and I was so, you know, was so nervous. I didn't know what to explain or talk much in the video. I will link that video in the description below if you like to have a look. Uh, but anyway, so throughout the year, I did report this one. I think once more time. So I mean, that's, I think that's um summer. I think. Uh, I can't, uh, can't be able now. Anyway, I link that um, video in the description below as well. And you could see after three years, the plants getting big. And I think the plant around 1.5 meter tall and around 1.5 meter width as well. This is beautiful tree. And I am, I encourage you or I recommend it. If you don't have a big space, you still can plant this one in the container. And they have quite a shallow wood actually. And this is a dwarf variety. So uh, they they don't need much space. And this one is beautiful because it got the focal point over here. Why the other tree? Let me come over here. Uh, I'll show you. Why the other tree is still beautiful color. But when I bought it, I didn't know that it lost the center. And uh, yeah. At that time the nursery have only the two the trees left and I took them on and then yeah you could see that the plant lost the focal point or the center I didn't know at that time and the, you know the time uh, after a few years it had been growing and yeah I could see that it's spreading out on the side but no focal point still beautiful nice element for the winter but uh, yeah I wish that I knew about that otherwise maybe I wouldn't take it because this tree was expensive I remember three years ago it was very little I think that the wild 50 centimeter high and then it's about $100 for that tree already so yeah anyway I I think it's still beautiful tree and nice you know evergreen for the garden in the winter uh come over here I want to give you the update oh let me shrink you out this is my garlics and they're doing well and they don't much um uh, you know in the winter but they just there I have it at most of the Asian greens I left the uh, the, what is the flowers of the some kind of pak choy or asian here but look at this they are good for the bees and good sauce for them in the winter that's make me happy yeah quite cold today actually and cloudy it mm, doesn't have much of sun today it's nice to have them to have some food and some garlic over this side as well and again I left some flour for the bees and in the future those will turn to seed and they sell seeded and by the way this, uh, these are the Asian green that I didn't plant them I think the seeds uh, dropped down from last year all right uh, oh let me show you my other vegetable here as well Kora bees so far I have uh, I haven't harvested any um yeah they still a little bit small so i haven't have it any but we ate a lot or we have eaten a lot of radishes i gave a lot of them away as well because there are too many i planted three um tiny little green sprouting broccoli so far they haven't produced any any but i know they're quite small so i think i just have to wait until spring and i can have some broccoli oh let me give you a quick update about this uh small hacker volunteer comedian that i reported together with you and with the other tree too maybe i should give you a, to have a look at that one as well and this tree doing amazing and the blooms or the flying but open turn to beautiful bloom and it's so far i haven't seen it got damaged much by the cold or maybe a few days lately we uh, we did not have a, oh we didn't have a, uh have any heavy force we did have a light force though uh yeah but the uh, the buds they're getting much bigger oh, i'm not sure uh you can see it clearly but they are they look cute <laughs> yeah the tree doing well i'm surprised about that 
Yeah, and I just thought that I put it here because quite a sunny area and it's staying like on the, you know, the gravel, it's like warmer than the corner I gave it before and right next to the large container terracotta over here so the sun does warm it up during the day so so that's my theory i hope that uh, <laughs> that it makes sense yeah um yeah i'm so so pleased with that actually and i have been keep an eye on it and make sure the soil or the um, the potting mix has stay moist because you know in the winter i just repotted them a few weeks ago but over here i want to give you the update oh by the way i have a lot of lettuces <laughs> You see that they are everywhere. They are on the lettuces. Uh, but one thing, let them over here. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. It seems like I'm showing you too much now. Okay, I want to show you some beautiful hairballs. They started to bloom. Last year, I got beautiful bloom from this hairball as well. But this one somehow haven't really opened yet. Why the one over there? You already open. Let me come over here. This one. Look at this. Is it beautiful? so pretty i think i got the name that's well, over here something over here mm. okay let me swing you around pink duck centra hello boss and this one i bought from post office farm as well a few years ago i love the color on the top look it's so pretty let me come over there and show you the other hello boy as well so uh, let me, I just a little bit of clean up in this area as well and you could see they look messy but I tend to do like chop and drop and uh, so I, I normally I don't clean it because of course in the future they will fertilize or keep the moisture of the soil in and have for the food and the veggie as well or what other plant I grow in this area but look at this they are so pretty this uh, I got from Bunning, I think two years ago. I can't remember the name. If I remember, I put it on the screen. But I can't remember. I think this one is the same variety which is this one as well. And the one that I just showed you, that one over there. But this one again, haven't really opened yet. Maybe it got a little bit shadier. So that's one. This one uh, opened much quicker. I trim up the big bush of something over here. I can't remember. Um, Lupin. Here I trim it off. And hopefully I could have a big show next spring as well. And over here I want to give you the update. How is my uh, dwarf Germanic black pie doing that I planted it? I think uh, in autumn, maybe in mid-autumn and certainly it brings some evergreen structure and some nice element in this area in the winter yeah, I um, I haven't figured out what I want to plant in the container yet you know, the container I took the plant out because before it was or, or it stayed in the container I think for two years and until next autumn I decided to plant this one in the garden bed to bring some nice evergreen structure and quite a few Asian greens that I threw the seat down in this area but again you can see the garden messy because I threw a lot of trimming uh, branches and leaves in this area as well I just want to uh, to top it up some, some kind like cover the bare soil so we won't have much of weeds but heaven said that I do see this weed here I have to come a little bit different angle and to put it way out um, and today I want to plant this vernaculars plant or they grew from the corn that I bought from Garden Expert last year so they have stay in this, con you know, this little container for the whole summer they I mean the whole year until it went to dormant in the summer but anyways they sprout up again and they grew so happy I thought that I'm gonna bring those to my front yard because I have several containers they're sitting empty over there and that area it has more sun anyway this corner doesn't have much of sun in the winter at all but they're growing well but I thought that maybe I should bring them uh, to plant them out in those containers so I could have nice display in the spring they grew so well. I think I lost some of them. I think, oh sorry, 
I think at the beginning I got maybe 20 combs and after that uh, after that I think I lost few I don't know how many I have here hmm what is this one this is binocular too the leaf look much bigger <laughs> I don't understand yeah the leaves look much bigger this one though this one is not binoculars this one yeah some pak choy me some uh quite sentiment vegetable uh, cell seated in here so i think the comb in here will be rotten or dead and i think the same for this one as well or this one as well so i have uh, how many left in here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so i love maybe eight uh combs but that's okay because now you know the the container there is that means they could have quite a few babies combs in each of these container. Right, let me bring them into the into my fun yard. So they all in here, the two rectangle container, they are uh, sitting empty for a while and I, have, I haven't thought about what I want to, to do with this um, rectangle container. The, rec, uh, the one on my right side though, last uh, winter I planted a few uh, tulip bulbs and they bloom beautifully. I will do the picture on the screen so you can have a look. Uh, but this year, yeah, so I decided to put the um, vernaculars in this container. Hopefully, I will have a beautiful display as well because last year, most of them, they were very small and they haven't given me much of the bloom. Um, but I think this year, I do see have quite a few baby bob as well. So you can see they got more multiple stem than last year. I think last year, mostly I just got tiny little one like this, but even they grew much smaller as well because they didn't have big leaf like this or big stem like this. Um, yeah, so the con um, container on my left side is much smaller than on my right side, it's much bigger. And how many bush or plant did I put here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine clumps. But the one at the corner here is really quite small though. Or it is quite small. And before I put in the middle of this container actually, but after that I shrink because I thought that I can fit one little one in this corner. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so I have, have to wait until the spring, I guess, to see what kind of color of the vernaculars I got in here. Uh, but my you, we will be away tomorrow, so while we are going away, they won't have uh, any water. Uh, so, and I did check the weather forecast, seems like we will have uh, some rain or several days actually while we're going. So hopefully, they will survive and when we come back. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, let me show you what I have in here. This is the Pernagonium scented uh, lemon scented leaf. This one got beautiful scented um, lemon leaf. I love this one. Uh, I did a, um, I think video long times ago how I grew this one from the cutting. It was very easy. Uh, yeah, I, I don't do much with this one other than just decorative and sometimes I just like to brush my finger on it and with beautiful beautiful scent. They got beautiful pink or quite cute pink flower during the summer and spring as well and autumn. And this one, um, this is the cinnamon myrtles. Uh, this one only like this spot actually. I moved several times different spot never like it and it's here it kind of like 
I have a hot sun area, but also it got a little bit protected from the frost. Uh, I'm not sure how how it can it pro protect it, but maybe the heat from the driveway. <laughs> so it kind of warms because whenever I move to the other spot, and this one just she really got burned by the frost. Uh, yeah, anyway, so since that I haven't moved it anywhere. Okay, the next one, this one looking sad, but you know, this is the Vietnamese mint. Uh, this one, they got dye on the top here, but a lot of green at the base here. So let me, we just have it, the greens uh, or leaves or shoot just underneath here. And I'm not worried about on the top here because I will trim them up in the swing. So that is for the video today. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, looking at my garden, just a few bit here and a few bit there, and I just want to give you the updates how garden doing. Um, and I'm glad that I planted the vernaculars there, and I hope that when I come back, they're still here for me, waiting for me. <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you for watching, and see you next video. Bye bye.